Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Meta Valorant 2021 Grand Finals for the New South Wales between Bosley Park High School and St. John's Park High School in Map 2. It is going to be on Icebox where St. John's Park has actually taken Map 1 and it was a pick from Bosley Park. What will happen on Number 2? And obviously with me, it is still Has Daddy Slim. Has Daddy, what do you think? I think a lot of things, yeah. My brain is always turning, the gears are always moving, but I do think about this one. Uh, is that Bosley, if they drop this, they're out, they're done, and they're going to be finishing runners-up for this season of Meta Valorant and St. John's. Well, they're in the driver's seat. They're now onto their map pick. They, of course, took that one off Bosley there on ascent, 13-10 to 10, if you did miss that first one. But, yeah, Bosley looking to try and even us up here on Icebox. But they will be starting on the defensive side, so that gives them a bit of an advantage to uh, try and get some early rounds in there. But... At the same time, if they start off slow and they don't really get into gear, St. John's can get away with this one pretty quickly because you can get some snowballs going, and especially on Icebox, a map that everyone does love. And I did see some very nice comments in the Twitch chat about it. I mean, everyone just loves Icebox. You know, it's a really good map. <laughs> yeah, great. Everybody loves Icebox, right? Yeah. It sort of reminds us of uh, the good old uh, Ice World with a few more um, structures in it. If you ever went that hard, um, speaking my own age for CSGO right now, but <laughs> I tell you what, this is going to be one of those things where, you know, either you love it or you hate it. So obviously it looks like St. John's Park, they love it and they're ready to take this one um, and, you know, to take it all the way back to Bosley Park. You see Orenda, instead of getting that Phoenix, he's going to go with a Rainer, settling down quickly with a Viper. Uh, they have Jet Sage and obviously Sova getting a little bit of info, but they are looking for map control. They're looking for uh, getting extra dueling in the beginning, getting really nice and dirty with them and obviously St. John's Park High School they're gonna sort of return the same favor they are not gonna have a sage at this oh no they are gonna have it they are gonna lock it in okay cool they're not gonna get that bridge in they're gonna quickly um switch it with a killjoy and they have a rainer as well so this is gonna be a very easy contention so basically what we're looking at is maximum damage against maximum protection and walling in coming from Bosley against St. John's Park now the defense it's always gonna be good on icebox that's the way I see it has what about you yeah, well, I mean, St. John's are actually the ones starting on defense, so I do apologize. I've made a slight mistake on that regard, but yeah, so they will definitely look to try and get control early from here. I mean, they have Oppo on that cypher, pick up some early information over towards that B site with that camera, and especially also the tripwires just to slow them down. Meanwhile, on the other side of things, I mean, they've also gone. So the two attackers again here for the side of Bosley, and just the one sitting here for St. John's. They did that last map as well. It's looking like they just want to play a bit more for the abilities and also just a bit more for information rather than pushing for that attacking uh, situations. But Bosley, I mean, they have the opportunity here with two attackers and starting on the attacking side. This is where they should be able to come alive, try and get some of these early lumens and pistols. They're looking to try and burst towards A as we start here for the second map of the New South Wales Valorant Meta Grand Finals. Yeah, and... This is a nice opening, you do up. see everyone's already at that default Hey, there's going to be the four in, already in there, they, they're trying to make their way in, trying to base on power, but uh, they're not going to get anything like that. Oppo is going to rotate, although the rest of Bosley, Bosley is still just deciding what they want to do because they're getting some recon coming from their server, they don't really see anything. Windows XP, he does know the site is open for the clear. B is already cleared and the rest is rotating uh -oh. through. Well, this oh. is going to be a meetup here. <laughs> and oh. unfortunately, they're probably just there a bit late. Ah, uh, Bosley. Bingsley picks up the first in the chain, man. It's sitting up towards there. Bingsley picks up a second. Could be even looking for a third. They jump over the wall. They do get a third. All right, oh. they absolutely no idea. Windows XP and Cool Killer get the trades back. Still down in a 3v2, though. The bomb is down as well. And cool Killer. Holding that angle, and Chopper's coming behind. Oh dear, this could be trouble. Chopper, if he turns around this corner, cool killer is left. about to meet with a bullet in the brain. Oh, this is not good. Yes. Oh, oh, I say that. Oh, fucking poor pool getting around the corner. They just really need to try and get away. They can't. Chopper finally finishes them off. Windows XP, still an opportunity here, but Oppo puts them down after they take down Cool Goo. 1 0. And. If the rotator just started a little bit earlier, the bomb probably goes down. We might be talking about the attacking side there of Bosley getting that early first round, which they were after. Unfortunately, Oppo's camera picks up what's going on. The rotator gets in in time, and Bingzu, three big kills before they could really respond there at all, Bosley. And 
yeah, a good start. They get what they want, St. John's. 1-0. Oh, this is a nice spot. And now, well, it makes it very difficult to try and get much done in this second round here for Bosley. It kind of felt like a Star Wars right there with a general arc like, oh, it's a trap! <laughs> right? And the rotation <laughs> did come through. And Offa just wow, barely misses that camera. He doesn't get anything, but knows he's now being pushed oh, by no, most boy. of the team here. He, he's a lot. Yeah, he's going to take that first one, but in response, they are going to trade him right back. Hina is here, takes that 169. Beansu takes the other, one breaks the remaining. front wall, and that is just gonna be it. Everything is just gonna go down. Cool killer being blind and cool killer. One on three, there's a wall right in front of him, and Hina is gonna take a triple oh, kill no, to no, the no, face, and that is gonna be 2 0. And St. John's is starting to look pretty good. They are gonna get that bonus round coming in. If they can get anything, this is going to be massive deficit on the side of Bosley Park. And Bosley Park, right now, Cool Killer is doing all the heavy lifting. Or Renda, the main carry, hasn't done much with um, the Reyna. So Jewelist needs to come out, needs to open a kill. Doesn't get a dismiss or a devour at all. So, um, of course, there's going to be four more kills before they're ready for an Empress. And this could be a little bit of a cash-up play that we're looking to get Orenda back into this game for Bosley Park. Yeah, first gun round here. And up against what is pretty much a bonus round here for St. John's Spectres across the entire team. Five Spectres against three Phantoms and two Vandals, and the push on towards A is just going in immediately here. Both teams just holding off as we're on here as Chopper Steve holding close to the wall. He spots one, but now they know where he is. Gets a dink on a render, but that's all. Bingsu gets the one out there, so 4v4 situation. Heady gets Sheeman. They really don't want to drop this round here, and Oppo goes down as well, and all of a sudden, things are getting really dicey. Kulgu gets another, and 04 finally responds with one back, but at this point, it's a 3v1. The guns have been picked up. The Vandals here. He will get one. He gets the swing on the second. He can't get the third, though. Kulgu is there for the trade-off. And even though they do good amount of damage there, Bosley, they really needed to get that one through. They were playing what was essentially a bonus round, and the bonus round has come through at an opportune time. The economy isn't particularly great here for St. John's, but now they've got the rifles up against the pistols, looking to make this a 4-0 start and just put Bosley under more and more pressure. Yeah, Bosley Park is definitely feeling the pressure at this second. They don't have enough line being thrown at the right way, and although... 169 did amazing just then, wasn't able to close out the rest and Cool Killer gets disabled early, means that they didn't have any more Vipers to, to deal with all the smoke, so this is something that they need to go around. Hina opens with a double spike as down. well, Attack and the, the spike oh. has been dropped, Orenda does finish off Chopper Steve, Ooh. Hina with a triple, and this is pretty much the game over for this round. Tap, tap, tap. Hina doesn't really need to do much there. Up against One just the pistol. The school group takes down Cool Killer and Arenda. Left in the 1v4. Gets blinded up. And Hina, 4 on the round. 8 and 2 now. Mm. Would be feeling pretty nice here. And now that's where the cash starts to build up as well. Because 4 survive. Only Chopper Steve needs to rebuy in. Now, this becomes an absolutely pivotal gun round here for Bosley because if they drop this one 5 0, possibly becoming 6 0, because they'll have to go into another eco after this if they drop this round. It just, it, the pressure piles on. You keep thinking about different things, and all of a sudden, it just gets away from you. And it's looking like it here. They need to respond on towards this B site. There's only Oppo here, but he has a lot of little, uh, little tricks waiting for them when they push in. Yep, and oh, here we go. This is a five stack. They are putting everything into this B. But look how annoying that is to deal with. One Cypher bar. Oppo is going to get taken down. There's an Empress from Hina. Hina sees nothing but a smoke. Needs that first kill. Come through. Whoa! Oh, get it! <laughs> oh, that is so good. The Why? Hina, stop it! You can't be... Oh my god, Hina! He gets a fourth on One almost the remaining. ace there. He Last finally shut up. But we know his response with two in a row. B. What is going on? And now it's a 1v1, but he's looking the wrong way. Chopper finishes it. Oh my god, Hina is cracked. And Windows XP almost pulled off another impossibility there. But at the end of the day, Bosley, even after all that, again they do the big damage. Again they make the rebuys here for St. John. But it's five to nothing. And they're on to pistol. Well, I was going to say they're on to pistols, but they have decided to invest here. So, oh, this yes. needs to be big if they want to pull this off. Because if they lose this one, I mean, 
it's just starting to get really, really hard for them to get a way back into this first half or even this map. Oh, that is really unfortunate. Orenda here is looking to maybe open it up. The Dulles is around. Max Opponent is already rich and already he's going to beat the open exchange. Both Reyna goes down. Can proceed though. Low case the spike Spot does down, get that hey. down. But it's going to be just fine. Right. Let's make it back alive. And he's going to get away with his life. A little bit of a sliver. And he's going to heal up a little bit right here. But at this second, attackers, they are one man down. They have to make something work. If they do ro rotate right here, they still have to deal with SS Oppo. And it feels like they are stuck. They haven't really got a way to make their out. And SS Oppo is already behind them. Oh, he's going to see so much in a second. Oh, he's just probably waiting. want to fall back as well. If he spots them, I would think he's just going to look for the spots and then try and get away. He actually goes for the fights. We'll pick up windows, but Cool Killer will get them down. But now they're aware of what they're sort of trying to do. They're back towards spawn. 40 seconds on the clock. And the rotation here from Bingzu. So only the one looking to rotate towards his beast side at the moment. And see, this is the thing here. Oppo doesn't have any of his utility to sort of slow this down. So you wonder if he might have just wanted to do that one there. But Bingzu. Chopping down the killjoy as well. Also, the thing stopping out there to stop the bomb plant almost. I thought we'll be able to get away with that at least. The bomb is down, but the killjoy ult means they have to sort of push back a fair bit away. And now the side is pretty much lost at the moment. Cool Killer will spot up the uh, not there to stop the defusal going in. He's just running through this. Cool Killer, he gets one. He's just going big. Bingzu. Cool Killer gets a third there. He has got absolutely massive, massive. Looks into this one here is Bingzu. Oh, he needs to find Kulgan. Kulgan is going to hear all of this. His ultimate might just be the one to save the decay on Bingzu as well. He's looking around. He can't find him. He might just have to look to save here. And finally, Bosley, they've found themselves that first round. To say they needed it is an understatement. They get it done. Cool kill up. A big 3k. They're 5 to 1. They've got one. They need quite a few more to get back into this first half of the... Yeah, that was a very good cool activation on that Viper. Every utility was pretty much placed correctly. That all the they biggest saving grace for Bosley Park. So Bosley Park right here, they do claw one back. And this is the one that they need to start re-rolling back in. Because if they do disable this one, they are going to be on a gun advantage to start potentially making this into a 5-3 deficit. And we're having two rounds that they have to make up. But it all depends on Get how they're going to go deal with Hina. And... Of course, at the same time, you are going to get an activation. Hina is being put down by Winners XP. But Chopper Steve is going to quickly take down Cool Killer. They what still man? have to take down Achievement to you. Achievement to you is going to get a reset. So Chopper Steve being disabled means that no more heals, no more resurrection. And this is pre looking pretty good for Bossy Park. Bossy Park looking to open up onto this A. They are being blinded by Kukupu at the second. That is just going to be a little bit of a greeting. But they say, you know what? If you're going to be investing the rest of the rotation in, we're going to rotate as well. Because you do see Orenda with that Rena looking that mid. Doesn't see anything just yet, which means that right here, if they do get spotted, they're going to quickly execute onto that beat. They realize that there's not going to be anyone else in that area. And oh, he might just get what he wishes for if Oppo. Yeah, Oppo, he hears it, so they are going to play. Careful, and this is the push, going for the spike. Yeah, I don't know where the render is, Oppo sort of looks behind as the bomb is going down, 4v3. Oppo towards this back corner here, but he needs to try and find something early on. He picks up a random nice achievement, Oppo through the smoke as well with those knives coming out and out. Still hold the ascendancy, the mob goes out as well towards the bomb. Kulgu taps the bomb, looking to see if he can freak someone out. They get windows looking around the side there. Chiman picks up in the third. Bingzu with one of the Chiman. But the trades are there. The numbers in the favor of Bosley. And 04 finishes it off. Two to five. Two in a row. And they've almost uh, decimated most of St. John's economical advantage. And yeah, it's pretty much going to be pistols across the board for them. Finally, they've gained the ascendancy back here. And they have a chance to make this 5-3. Get this back to something close but I mean pistols against rifles every single time we think ah oh, you know it's just a easy you know up against an eco should yes, be pretty simple should every time we think that the exact opposite tends to happen
<laughs> yeah, you said it. Don't jinx him once again because he you know, is on that big, massive sure. If that mirror gets by that one tap, then it's going to be terrible. But at this second, this is the default play. Orenda's looking to challenge uh, Oppo, and Oppo hasn't spotted this out just yet. But meanwhile, this is the full play. Can they get a Kuku push? Let's go down. Same as Chopper Steve. They don't get the damage they were looking for at the same time. This is going to be pretty much the A for the roughly taking and the rest of St. John's doesn't really have a lot to deal with this. I mean, at this stage, they're just looking to maybe chase Orenda Mabinsu. Hang on a second. Takes one down, but it's going to be traded. That's going to be the spike. And yeah, two against four. No gun against gun. And Orenda is going to run into this first against goodbye. And that makes it too easy. And Orenda finally back online has Empress and next one is going to be looking a little bit better against a big ultimate ready on the side of St. John's. Yeah, it's a good response here from Bosley. Three on the trot now. As we're coming to another gun round for both teams here. Cool kill up. And Chopper Stab going to be a bit low on the armor, but everyone's got one. Two Vandals, three Phantoms for the side of St. John's. Meanwhile, Bosley with two Phantoms, three Vandals on their side so one team favoring the phantoms a bit more the other leading towards the vandals as we get ready to start round number nine here looking like it might be a look towards the push on beat there's the dark going out towards the side we'll finally get down as oppo will grab it got that camera close and arinda heard that i going to take it down and now oppo aware of what might be happening here the peak out there arinda will spot him Bomb should be looking to go down here. The drone as well, looking to see if they can find any players. Wall goes up. Chi Man will pick up Bing Zhu. Chopper Steve with the trade though. 44 situation now. The spam through the box. Doesn't quite stop that plant. I think we'll get Bing Zhu. It's going to be the pop there from Miranda. The Empress comes out and he gets one there. Killjoy as well. So now they really need to find kills right now. They just need to think about probably saving at this point. Miranda's not going to be able to get away though as he goes down the open and clue. He's just holding the bomb here. The killjoy, the contender one, at least staying up. The fuse almost goes all the way through. It's at least halfway done, unfortunately. There's not much else they could do there. And also Hina is going to be taken down by Cool Killer's lovely placed little uh, splash grenade. We'll call it there as it just spreads across the bomb. And a decent hold in the end after the bomb plant there from Bosley. 5-4, to four, and all of a sudden, a 5-0 is now, well, pretty much almost even all the way up. And again, it's just going to be pistols, possibly a Spectre there for Hina to start this round of St. John's. Now, find themselves to be the ones on the back foot. Yeah, the last round was a little bit disastrous. Yes, they baited out the resurrection, but at what cost? None of them went to, like, you know, none of them went to take out Cool Killer. They had to challenge it. All of a sudden, Hina is going to go down. Doesn't get that early dueling power. Gets taken down, and that's going to be a double kill onto Oppo. Yes, it is going to be economy round on the side of St. John's, but this is just going to be a one-way massacre into the next there. Money is just looking pretty good. Boo -boo -boo. It's going to get punished here. Um... Okay, I was about to that say was, you both uh, in reverse. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you know, you can teleport. teleport. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, yeah, this is it. They do get a lot of info, so Bing Zhu has come back as well as Chopper Steve as the bomb is being planted. Oh, Orenda yeah. probably doesn't want to jump Spike up their planted. head again there if they know what's good for them in that situation. 4v2 as the bomb has been planted. And, well, now what do they think of doing here? Bing Zhu trying to push in, but. I mean, if Bosley is smart here, they don't really need to show anything as the jump goes over. The bolt as well re reveals the location of Chopper Steve. Who gets one, though? So still an opportunity into this one location. They just keep being revealed. They're just waiting for them to pop in. Cool killer will get tagged up a bit there by Chopper Steve. Unfortunately, won't be able to get them down. Picks up into XP. A cool killer there as Chopper's trying to reload. 5-5. Five to five. We're all even now after a 5-0 start from St. John's. Bosley have responded in turn with five of their own as we've got two rounds left in this first half. And Bosley, if they get these next two as well, as crazy as it is to say, this could actually find themselves in front after this first one. Yeah, especially with a 0-5 start, make, if they make 7-5, so seven in a row, that's just going to be absolutely nutty. Man. That's absolutely crack from Bosley. Far. And, you here. know, it's such a massive difference when you see that Cool Killer's Viper is making the rest of St. John's Park pay for this. 
Hina is gonna be taken down once again, and Orenda's gonna be taken down, but there is gonna be a revenge kill onto Kuguhu. Two for the price of Please one, and this is gonna be a B push once again. They've identified that this is gonna be the one that they can just muck around with every single time. 169 doesn't get anything. Oh my god, Binsu let them get away too. Yeah, he That's... saw them and just uh, uh, didn't really shoot them. I'm sure if he maybe had a, you will a moment of just, uh, oh, you know what? I don't want to kill you today. Is I will just get the revive in as Oppo. We'll get the trade out there. 4v3. That's all the advantage. Oppo with two. And then, oh, well, you know what? The round's done. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like that. Why not? Last round Six to five. The and they lead this one now to Bosley. Six in a row, and now St. John's just going to have to invest what they have into this last round. Going to be a bit short on rifles and a bit of utility. And also some armor there for Hina, who, I mean, after such a glorious start, they've sort of been just shut down in these last few rounds. Still sitting at the top of the scoreboard of all players with 13 kills, but as uh, the two judges are out, I do like the looks of that. Oh, maybe just one now as Kulgu decides to trade that one out. Something... A bit more boring, I reckon. But, you know, Chopper's got the judge, and I do like that. And if you can get something done here, it'd be even nicer. Oh, well, he is being pushed. There's so many people in front of him. He's just blinded everywhere. So he's just going to wait. And he also has to deal with the drone. And this is the Viper ult. That is just so devastating. But they are going to go for a trade. Both Renault's going to go down at the same time. They still have to do with Cheap Man 2. So Chimmy Yu still has his of right here. Oh, That's what everyone's come to see. Chopper Steve, my boy, going wild. He picks up a 3k. And Hina's going to get revived as well as the bomb is transferring towards this B side. It is just get your legs out and run as fast as you can for Chi Man in 04. And locations are being revealed. And, well, I mean. I have to try and get this bomb down, but now everyone from St. John's is here. Chimmin will pick up Bing Zhu and still the opportunity here as the ball goes up. It's already being broken and Oppo finishes it off with two of his own. Chimmin 04 hits the ground and we end the first half. Even Steven, six apiece. The St. John's, they switch to the attack here. And Bosley will be on the defense. Remember, they need to win this map if they want to stay alive in this series. Already a 1-0 lead for St. John's, and they will look to finish it off here on the attacking side. Yeah, what a beautiful opening by St. John's, and what a beautiful response coming from Bosley Park. And I'm just taken away by both teams, how they've been able to commit and refocus themselves on these grand finals. Now, obviously, if Bosley Park drops this one, that's going to be game over and GG into the new champions of St. John's Park. But at the same time, if they do get this one, they are going to push into a map three onto split. And this is exactly what's going to do everything. So we've seen a bad start coming from Bosley, but they were able to make that catch up. And St. John's though, it depends on how they're going to be able to do this into the first round to get that early through. And Hina says, well, I'll take that first one to one six nine. Thank you very much. And we'll take it straight up from these mid rafters. Mid is open. Windows XP holding this corner here towards Boiler Room. As the B site is set upon. They still haven't cleared it out, so still an opportunity here as the bomb is looking to get planned off. I will pick up a random 5v3 hand against another. And Cool Killer standing. trying to do something around the corner. will get shut down by Bingo. Now Windows XP. Oh. They know where you live, son. And he's trying to get away from there as quickly as possible. 33 HP. We'll pick up Peanut. And that's probably all they're going to be able to get here. In a 1v4. 3 HP now, so... I mean, look, 1 HP for almost every player. That could work. And he's coming around the back. Kulgu's not aware of this. We'll pick him up. Unfortunately, doesn't have any healing ability, so even though he's got that one, he's not going to expect to push in here as well from behind. As it's going to be Bingzu to finish him off. A nice try from Windows, unfortunately. Didn't quite get it done in the end. 7-6, to six, St. John's. And oh, no, sorry, I would say... Well, I would say the boys in St. John's, but uh, I do mean... Actually, no, I do mean the boys in St. John's. St. John's. I forgetting yeah, who's yeah. starting on attack and defense here. It's one way or the other. <laughs> it's just one team switches the other side of the brain. It's just, it's just not working. It's gone. 
we're, we're, we're all here. We're ready, man. We're all with you. And of course, on a beautiful weekend when you're in lockdown, you think nothing but like, you know, how you can wish you want to go out. But as a gamer, you say, wait a second, nothing's changed. I'm saying I'm playing games and we're doing better HSC. One of the grand finals of this up us, right? That's exactly what we're doing. So they're going to have the early dingers out uh, which is a little bit uh, surprising a steer uh hina doesn't get the spray so winners xp punishes uh hina and at the same time they do have that martial out early and bingsu is gonna return the favor onto winners xp at the same time get that opening they're gonna have the same one from the last round they are gonna quickly go to boiler into the heart doesn't really get the rest in and cool killer is not fully aware just yet and so this could just be a quick drop onto b once again it depends on how they do. Cougar Pool has been spotted. Punishes Chim into you here. And they, oh, they are going to play for this A. Okay, so they are going to try to make a reverse bait where Orenda has to fight this one on three, which is quite interesting. Oppo, he was spotted out Spike there, but managed to take down 04. Orenda from behind. No, oh, this could be big. He gets one. He's got a chance. The second Orenda goes massive and now Oppo left in a 1v2 situation. They weren't ready for him to be in the back lines. And the bomb still hasn't left. gone down either. So Oppo trying to get away to the side. And Orenda 4k on the round. And after what was a pretty slow start in that first half, they now lead their team him, or himself and Windows on Bosley 14 apiece. And there is not yeah. going to be any round or run of five straight here for St. John's to start the second half. It's one apiece. And now this could just become a battle of whose economy breaks first. There's still going to be buy-ins here for Chopper, not for Bingzu and Hina possibly, although they are thinking about the opportunity here just to save a bit more. But it's looking like Bingzu is going to be, yep, going to be saving that one in the end. So it's just going to be pistols here. They look to try and buy into the next round, but they can still get some something done here, St. John's, if Bosley give them the opportunity to. Oh, all right. So this is going to be the opening of very nice slow walk in. They have spotted winners XP, and you know it's going to put everything out. Google put us get taken out, but they are going to quickly return one onto Windows and being so going to quickly rejoin them and quickly fortify. Now this is going to be the retake from the high ground vision. Hina, oh, spotted 169 from the side. Can do a little bit of damage. Oh, that is a huge kill. Hina, oh, 3k on the round and Chopper finishes it off. Oh, disgusting. Woo. You can't do that, Hina. I mean, being put there. I know you were angry and frustrated. You've been taking down a few rounds of disabled, but just like that, one shirving hand with a dream takes up and down a big, beautiful 4K. And, oh, Hina, this, this guy is just too deadly. And now he has Empress with SS Open looking to go for maximum take and maximum information play on this next round. 8 to 7. They have the guns, they have the closet bar on both sides, and this is going to be very, very interesting. It has very, very interesting. Oh. Problem here for Bosley, if they drop this, they're going straight into an eco, and it could possibly be two the way it's looking, because their cash is incredibly, incredible. I mean, look at the singer on 04. He's really got anything to work with. A cool killer has to sort of bank off the side here with the bomb. Look, let's see if we can get planted. They've already rotated around pretty quickly here, Bosley. Bingsley picks up the first, so, and also another one there for Hina. Trying to push through the smoke as well. We'll really get one here pushing through. Oppo gets the trade on Render and a chopper. Steve will finish off. Cool kill up. Nine to seven. And that buy into that round does not, unfortunately for Bosley, prove to be very fruitful. And if, well, let I me mean, look at that. Pistols, bit of armor, bit of util, but. This is looking like a three-round advantage should be put through, but then again, I mean, every time, it's every time you say, oh, you know, they should be able to do this, they should be able to do that, and then the pistols just kill everyone with a rifle, test. because why not? Why not, right? Why not? It's just, a, it's just a bit of a bit of a gag, bit of a laugh. Well, we're simply does have that right now. Hina you know, looking to go up and punish once again, looking in, and could just find himself with a quick kill. It does see a little bit of something on one six nine, and one Ooh. six nine doesn't even get to jump away. So Sage doesn't get a charge off at all. And at the same time, it means that no heals. And Bisu quickly backs it up. Chi Man to you also gets put down. Hina you know, with a leer spots everyone though. Gets taken that by Orenda in exchange, so that is something um, that 
Well, I guess that's quite interesting. It didn't really need to push out. Probably was surprised that he had to fight two at the same time. This is going to be the spike plan at the same time. It is going to be the retake coming through. There is oh, the location. Oh, oh. You're gone, Sunshine. You don't want a knife in that situation. Kogu will get the trade back. 3v2. They still hold the ascendancy. Aranda. And now also Killer. Or cool Killer. Have the opportunity to get back into this round here. And also picking up a Spectre. So he's still got these opportunities. The bomb. Continues to tick away. The blind goes in as well as they push towards there, but chop for C. They're not ready for you standing right behind the wall there. Picks it up. 10 to 7. As now the full bike comes back in for Bosley, but again, they're just on the back foot, it seems. Every time they've sort of had to fight back to get the rounds even, and every time they have the opportunity to get somewhat ahead. St. John's are there to respond straight back and. They win this game around here, 11 to 7. Put them back on towards the eco. You win round 12. Suddenly you've got five map series, grand final, L, just tournament points just sitting there waiting. Still, plenty of Valorant to play here and still plenty of opportunity for Bosley to get back into this one. Oh, what an unfortunate miss. Hina is going to get taken down first this time. Uh, Bisu, though, locates two, takes both down. That is a big, big loss in the beginning. So, out of nowhere, this is going to be meaning that you're going to be making one less members come through. Kugu Ku is here. And, oh man, they've been denied the site right here. They can't really do anything. They have to wait until they take down Kukulu. Kukulu says, you know what? You give me the ward, that's fine. I'm gonna keep on being annoying to you. And I have that toxic cloud every single time, but Chima to you has been taken down. Cool killer now all of a sudden. No more toxins, has to wait. 69 still charging. And all of a sudden breaks the war out of frustration and says, okay, I've had enough Windows XP. It's gonna brave this war though. That's an awful angle. Probably waiting for the war here coming out. Alright, this game has trip off. That's and I mean, that just makes you. it so oh. difficult for them to do anything there. The Ooh. moment that bomb goes down, you're stuck out of the site. You need to push into basically nothing you can really see at that point. And round number 11 comes through here for St. John's. A four-round buffer. They've won five of the six to start this C, C half of theirs. Oh, sorry, I should say attacking half of theirs. And it's pretty much like the start of the other one, except here they didn't win five in a row. They have managed to lose one in the second round, but still a 5-1 to one start at the halfway the point, and now right. only two rounds away from closing this one out completely. Yeah, it's so interesting. Yeah. Here we go. There is going to be the ults. Everything is being utilized. They don't want to be giving up anything on this round of deficit, the firepower. They need to do everything they can the power to run. stop St. John's Park. And here we go. Here comes the attack, and they do it. Chivin to you. So, Paul, how do you do this? Windows XP takes that first one, but it's going to get taken down here. Now, really heals he up to everything. It's going to be the resurrection. Oppo back up, and they have to do I this all over exactly again. Where. And oh my goodness, everything Cypher is just as well be... coming through. Render though, two of the Spectre and 04 comes back and no Oppo. He was brought back up, but all of a sudden this round that they had looking so good, all of a sudden they're the ones looking down. A render with a 4K. He is keeping Bosley in this as much as possible. He does not want to go quietly into the night. He picks up his 20th. And a round that they really shouldn't have a look in there, Bosley. They managed to get it done. The push. The retake goes perfectly for them. Pick up a couple of rifles as well, and now 11 to 8. And the economy for St. John's still looking pretty nice. We're well, looking like another gun round here. Yeah, they just need to keep doing that. There can be really no more mistakes at this point for Bosley. They're one away from having to push it to OT if they were to keep themselves in it. But right now, just three down. They need to find this one here. If they can just hold on to the defense. They've got two this hitting away towards B. The two towards mid. And they're leaving. Looking like Cool Killer just find themselves over towards that A site. So, need to make sure they get much done as we start round number 20. Look at all the ults that's being activated. They get two instantly, but Chima to you is going to get taken down here. Doesn't really matter, but Windows XP to get to you. He's going to get that first kill, which means that there's not going to be anything. Oh, that is a nice pickup. At the same time, Windows XP is going huge. And 169 cleans up the rest, and all of a sudden, the Bosley boys are back, and they are looking to retake. 
forcing the economic disadvantage slowly onto the opposing side. I mean, like, if they do one more fight, right, they lose this round. They are going to be on a round of guns where they have nothing but pistols. This is starting to look like the reverse of that first half that we already had between both. And now, once again, Boston Park, they are ready. Chi Man 2U does have a big operator in play, looking to take some crucial kills. And uh, if they do it again, they pick up Hina one more time in this beginning, it could just look like that's going to happen. A lot of these rounds have sort of been dictated by whether Hina gets that open pick or goes down early. And there you go. Hina gets the first one. Cool killer is going to hit the floor as they go peeking on out towards the B-side. Gets another one, Hina. Every time they get given the opportunity, they wreak havoc. He's already pushed through his focus. Another one to Windows. Get the ace done. Finish off G-Man. He will be taken. No, he won't be taken down. Oppo and Bingzu play Mr. President to make sure he gets that ace through. 12 Match point. to 9. Three map points. Three series points. And three tournament points to win the New South Wales Meta Valorant Grand Finals here for St. John's and Hina. I mean, what else can you say? He this. There. And uh, I've literally said, every time he tends to get the opening pick, they usually do well there. on the round St. John's. There. This time he just killed all five, because why not? You may as well. You may as well just prove my point and then just extend it even further. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's, it's all here at that stage. Now, does have the Ampress. They do have everything. Going to quickly activate. Oh, so close to get activated on that first kill. They are going to quickly take out the Lear as well. And this is going to be the Lear running down. That's again the first one disabled at the same time. And three players going down for St. John's. And yeah. Chopper's team just sizzled this thing because, uh, all right then, I will try my best to do something. And look at this, Orenda is just shooting through that little bit of place. Oh, finally gets taken down by Chopper Steve. Oh, they are going to go for a heal to Kugu Poo, trying to make something happen still. But slowly, the players of Boston is coming from behind them. Cool Killer looking to activate a kill, and Kugu Poo is going to probably be uh, just by himself very soon. Oh no, wait a second! Chopper Steve One punishing, but Kugu Poo goes down, and Chopper Steve still alive in this. One on three! Takes oh, another headshot! No. Oh, no. I refuse to believe this is going to happen here. Chopper, 77 HP. This in a 2v1. They have all... They know exactly where he is as well. There should really be no way back into this. 33 seconds left on the clock. They have a revive, but they can't really use left. it because everyone's sort of stuck towards the back of sight. Oh, except the first one back there, but... Chopper just wants to maintain they're not there. Oh no, Chi Man, if he doesn't quite get that angle right. Oh, he just gets away in time. And he gets a revive of Windows. He's running around the corner. He will get one. He can't quite get the second 29. HP left on Kulgu. Almost gets it done. But Chi Man, with bated breath, manages to hold his call. Gets it done. And Bosley survive a wreck. Just one round. They've got to survive two more. Whew. Oh, what a round. That that was breathtaking. What a beautiful round. Both sides. Chopper Steve really trying to clutch up the rest of his team. Picks up huge amount of kills. And Cuckoo put the last one. There's only 32 health. Two more bullets. Like, just a little bit of spray on a vendor could have been hit. And, uh, yeah, so they need to do it two more times. Bosley Park needs to hold. Will they be able to? Here we go. Hina oh, instantly boy. waiting. Oh, he goes pushing up there, and Oppo was waiting for that one as well, and also getting his ult as they know exactly where the rest of this team is heading. Bina and Binzu pushing through here as they're trying to get stuff down. The old wall goes up as well. Cool killer. The smoke goes down. He will get one. He gets two. G-Man will go down. So 3v3. Cool killer keeps him in. But Oppo manages to give the advantage back to St. John's. 0-4-2 going down. And Oppo, he's coming alive in this final round possibly here. Cool killers on half health, windows on low ones as well, and they just have to wait here. They don't really need to push. And if they go back behind this corner and Oppo drops down, if they hear that, oh, he's coming around the back here. Cool killer trying to push through the one side, but he's been watched by Chopper, and now there's just one man remaining. It is all on Windows XP. He will get Oppo. He knows that rotate's coming in. He has an opportunity here. He's not going to check to his right. Cool Goofu finishes it off, and St. John's are your New South Wales meta Valorant champions. Woof! 13-10, 13-10 on a sense and ice box, and they were pushed on both, but they get the job done in the end. Hina with 27 and 18 there. What a map. Windows XP and Aranda 
Kev Bosley in it with 22 apiece. Bingzu picked up 22. Chopper Steve, 19. G-Man had 14. Oppo, 15. Cool Goo with 12. And Cool Killer and 04 with 14 and 11, respectively, to round out those players. But Emp, congratulations, I guess, to St. John's. They get the job done 2-0 to in the grand finals. And as try as they might there for Bosley, they just could not quite pull it off in the end. Yeah, look, um, on the second map, it felt like it was all going to be St. John's Park in the beginning. And the Boston Park said, you know what, we're going to quickly fire back. And they did, right? They tied it up, and then it was even Stevens. And then once again, St. John's made it look like it was going to be a nice and easy one. But then, um, you know, lots of quick clutch plays comes back from Boston Park. And unfortunately, you know, despite they did do a lot and try to, like, you know, disable Hina as much as they could, they get a stop. And then at the same time, uh, the rest of Cool Killers, Cool, um, well, Cool Kids was disabled in the end. Doesn't really get much. I mean, you see a lot of difference when it came to the defensive side, uh, even when it came to, you know, um, utilizing that offensively. You see Cool Cats, uh, Cool Killer, sorry, with a lot of beautiful plays and rotation. But then after that, wasn't able to really just. Uh, in hindsight be better than Oppo and Oppo at this stage with that mass information on Cypher and playing correctly with the backline supporting his team give St. John's Park all of the best kind of utilities through uh, all in all and the information relay so Hina was able to come back and obviously score huge and a uh, big massive uh, shout out to Windows XP and also to Chopper Steve for making clutch uh, beautiful plays coming out and at the same time there is going to be MVP and the MVP is going to be none other than Hina. I mean, yeah, this... I mean, in the end, yeah. you just couldn't, you couldn't say no to that. That 5k at the end, that ace to get yeah. them to that grand final series point. I mean, you just can't say no to that. It was a fantastic display from Hina on both maps. But as you were saying, I mean, Oppo, he's probably, he's not going to get a lot of accolades. He didn't really get a lot of kills either across gross both maps, but he played that cypher really well. Just for as you're talking about he's just playing for the info and sometimes if you're going to be that role player you just need to make sure you do it right and oppo did everything in his power to get that one done so again congratulations to st john's they are the top they are the kings the top of the new south wales valorant scene and for bosley i mean to get here to the grand finals full credit to them they gave it their all unfortunately coming up just close i mean 13 10 13 10 that's nothing to be ashamed of in any sense so mm. congratulations to them hopefully they'll be back for the grand finals for the next semester when all for the next tournament play when it does start but yeah again st john's just too good on the day they will take home that new south wales uh trophy which i'm sure is definitely a real thing and possible i mean if it's not i mean you can just print out a png and just shove it in the trophy cabinet just write something on it that's good enough i mean <laughs> Well, that's hey, gonna be look, after that's, a, that's it right <laughs> because you know it is video game it is esports it is absolutely amazing um it's something that you can all come alive with and it looks pretty good right so anything that represents a proper esports gaming as a trophy whether that's going to be a png or something that's within just like a screen wallpaper that's permanently has uh, one of those uh, meta hsc tournament uh winning uh trophies hey you know that provides a good opportunity for all of the students to participate into the future of meta hsc so guys if you have haven't follow meta hsc and all of our twitch channels and handles make sure to follow at um, meta hsc and also at um, twitch.tv forward slash meta hsc and meta hsc 2 where we get all the latest uh, competition all around from meta hsc and at the same time guys we still have a pax vip experience competition right that is still going on it is from our sponsor billy blue college of design at Torrance university australia and basically you can win a pax vip experience for two not one but two and an online session with a professional league of legends player and or oh, someone from a legacy esports team right there and he's going to be a streamer or she and they are just going to be there and you know you can have a good time you get to learn something you get to improve your gaming and see if you want to be the next aspiring oceanic um you know absolute esports champion so it's going to be something there we are going to spam the link right there on the to the packs yes it's going, it's going in the t it's going in the twitch chat now so it's going to be a bit behind so it's what i've posted is not a, uh, a virus of any sort just in case you were <laughs> i mean look it might be for some extra free ram i don't know but I, I, mm, it should just be it should should realistically should. just go to the form which you can fill out so you can get that vax vip experience as i said well, i said before the break after the first map imp and i had done 50 submissions between us we're actually up to 100 now so your chances of getting it 
they get slimmer and slimmer with each second you sort of sit there thinking mm, maybe i'll do it or maybe i won't so you gotta get on it <laughs> but again thank you to pax for doing that one for us and i'm sure whoever gets there will have a very enjoyable time if pax does go ahead i'm hoping it does i mean look we're thinking about november here but well COVID's a funny thing isn't it every time uh, you think it might have just wandered away it always comes creeping all the way back in but uh unfortunately not too much we can do about that and to, well, to everyone today that is in new south wales i hope you guys are all doing well make sure that you're all keeping safe and uh you know following the stay at home orders or whatever you need to do so you don't get sick and you can get out of that lockdown as quickly as possible because me personally i've been through the melbourne lockdown all pretty much all of them they're not too much fun but once you get out of them they are they're not bad you know we can't really complain <laughs> on my end Hey, hey, look, you know, that's uh, that's just the current pandemic. Obviously, we hope everyone stays safe and packs to go ahead. Um, but, you know, the current situation, you got to make the best of it. And obviously, by being safe, by being, uh, you know, good and all will stop the spread. And at the same time, you know, that gives you more time to uh, enjoy yourself at home, you know, play a lot of video games, play and compete and, you know, have a laugh, tune into our meta HSC competition. At the same time, it's just a much better time to, you know, it's a good excuse before everyone will be like, all right, let's just go home. Let's just uh, play games. And then people will be frowning upon that. But now it's like, hey, let's go home and, or, and stay home and play games. Everyone's like, yeah, down for it. That's that's how the comment is going to be right now. So it's going to be very, very interesting. And currently we are going to go into a player interview uh, from St. John's. They do have a representative. It's going to be Kugu Poo, who was using um uh, wait not yet okay never mind he's never still, mind. They're still getting it together they're but it should it together. be that man who was coming in the uh yeah so that just yeah so unfortunately we couldn't get him we couldn't get the superstar to come through for that one. <laughs> cool. i think kulgu is just as good and i'm sure they're very happy with how things are going as they're uh i think they're almost ready to get in they're just get prepping themselves you know getting the suit and tie everything looking nice you know you've got to be very presentable i, I say that when i'm not wearing a suit and tie i mean em has got the, the collar shirt and everything going on and i'm sitting here with a white shirt with nothing <laughs> I, I feel underdressed to be honest. hey we, we discussed this we, we, we discussed <laughs> this we say we were gonna like oh you know uh, but i'll tell you what i'll tell you what i'm not wearing suit pants how's that uh, <laughs> I hope you're wearing some form of pants. Oh know. yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you would never know. You would never know. <laughs> that's his secret for you. Yeah, you're never gonna know, chat. You can only think about it. That's right. So currently we are okay. It is gonna be confirmed. Kugu Poo, uh, our Omen player, is gonna be the one to come in for this uh, play interview uh, to represent St John's Park and give that interview experience to the rest of us and give us uh, his uh, perspective, obviously, to what they were talking about in the team chat when they were discussing about certain things. Obviously, if you want to ask some questions, please also chuck it in into the chat. And at the same time, guys, if you want to see more of meta hsc make sure to follow us and also follow my man at has daddy slim on his twitch.tv channel and also on twitter because this man's alive he's always playing games always having a chill session make sure to go and check him out okay yes, and also also this man across from me as well mr mr <laughs> mr amp you know you can see me there was also a bit of a uh, twitch streaming at emperor zk and you can also follow him on twitter at emperor underscore zk does uh, the kind of stuff I do, but probably better in my opinion. But yeah, no, that's, no, we're, that's we're just me. That's we're just the same. same we're, what are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, <laughs> man, yeah, we've, got to, we've got to talk each other up. That's how that works. Hey, oh, all right, fair enough, fair enough. Hey, look, you know, uh, at the end of the day, um, both Has and myself, we are striving to become the next lead when it comes to a lot of competitions, a lot of esports. Uh, you'll probably see us do a lot of CSGOs, use a Valorant, um, everywhere around the oceanic scene. And we are looking to, uh, you know, broaden our current uh, horizon and getting some more matches out for everyone out there so if you do want to see us back make sure to also you know get us out there for everyone out there for your mates and you know we're always happy to play games and chat and have a great time every single time with everybody uh at the same time what do you think about today's competition was it all bossley park not being able to you know close up their matches and defend or even getting the proper attack out in order to make st john's to sweat a little in order for uh, or was it more closer in that kind of situation or was it st john's getting super lucky on the angles please let us know at us you know at meta hsc it's going to be something amazing and i just can't wait to see what everyone is going to be uh doing and staying for the next few weeks and days hopefully and um 
compete and get into esports because this tournament can only get bigger and bigger that's correct i remember guys if you do want to join uh, any teams make sure you get on to all the players there's also a lot of teachers that have all the comms as well for that stuff so ask around there's plenty of ways to get into this one because i mean if you i do see this a lot in the twitch chat there's a lot of people sitting there going uh you know oh geez this bloke's oh, i'm better than him he's probably only bloody gold three oh, i'm an immortal if you want to prove that, maybe get yourself into the game, you know, get yourself into a team and get yourself competing with a few of your mates and maybe you'll be there at the end here like uh, St. John's have done, celebrating with a lot of uh, bubbly. By bubbly, I mean, of course, uh, soft drink because there's no, there's no drinking air for any of these lads. Oh, well, maybe a couple, but not only, remember, don't be doing the early stuff, otherwise you'll be in big trouble, you know. You don't want to be doing sure. that, but... Yeah, we're just waiting here on Mr. Cool Goo. He's uh, just getting his camera set up at the moment, but he will be. We will be interviewing. He's coming. Yeah. He's in. He's yeah, almost he's, there. He's, he's almost there. Oh, by the way, you do realize this is one of the New South Wales finals. There is one more. There's going to be the Victorian final as well. And my yes. man Has is going to be the one to do it. We're not sure if he's going to be online or live, but either way, Has, you're going to be there, aren't you? Yes, I should be, whether it is online or actually in person. I wouldn't mind one to be in person as my uh, lovely camera quality continues to go up and down. Oh. Uh, hopefully when we actually do the grand finals and if I'm in person, my camera won't be at 144p for half of the time we're there, but that would be, uh, that would be nice. Hey, uh, look. Depends, but, I mean, look at that. It's <laughs> magical. I'm in slow motion. You just you can't even tell what's going on. Mm. Oh, hey, look, you know, it does not matter. We're on the internet. And obviously, hopefully, uh, yeah, we get all that sorted for you. If you do see my man has, make sure to, uh, you know, give him a, you know, a space, one of those air um, uh, fist bumps for telling him doing a good job and get him full Absolutely. popped up for the moment. It's going to be great. But if we were to do it online, we'll be right back. Uh, do it online. This man's <laughs> going to be joining me. I mean, we could do the old, we could do the in person. I mean, I might be the only caster, so I might need you to back me up. You're going to be, you'll be through the teleprompter. You'll be the, it's going to be me in person. There's just going to be a giant screen of M's head just on the other oh, side. Like You'll be looking like across and like, hey, no, that's all good. <laughs> hey, uh, I don't see why not, right? You know, do a little bit of a Power Rangers auto moment. We're like, Rangers, what did you think about that last fight? That was crazy. <laughs> oh, mate, absolutely. It's, exactly what you're after as well as uh well i believe kevin was no nope, nope, i thought i saw the other camera there for a second but yeah God. i think <laughs> i think that's the man right there we're still just waiting to see if he is going to get um everything back up at the same time might as well give um, another sponsor a shout out and guys obviously thanking on behalf of meta hsc we do give our greatest thanks to torrens university australia optus and msi so if you're into gaming and esports make sure to learn more about the game designs the game programming 3d design and animation and graphic and communication design courses if you are interested and you want to uptake one of the you know game devs and want to become a future game developer developer and uh, you know create your own games and stuff making it into esports or even just any other games make sure to check out Torrance University of Australia and at the same time you know uh, Optus provides a lot of great value and benefits so if you do need a communication and you know the best one value digital everywhere in Australia make sure to check out Optus and of course MSI Gaming you already saw them from the commercial there's 300 hertz on a, on a laptop i think that's ridiculous <laughs> it's going to be like the most swiftest graphic chips, mate. yeah exactly so <laughs> You're going to be so crisp and clear. It is ready. And it feels like we're going to have the interview ready. Hey. And here we He's go. The man, Kevin the Goo representing St. John's Park. How are you feeling coming out on top on that New South Wales Grand Finals? I'm feeling great. It was never a hassle. We knew we were going to win. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's confidence. I like that. I'm not going to bang that. So you want to be confident going in. But yeah, congrats to you guys. 13-10, 13-10. <laughs> Taking both their map pick and also yours. I mean, towards the end there, I mean, Hina, he had an absolutely crazy day. I mean, all of you performed particularly well, but especially towards that last round, I mean, that ace. And I even saw, I, th I think I saw you typing in chat, just ace. Yeah, <laughs> he's, 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 the he's the goat. He's like the LeBron James of our team. Not the Kobe Bryant. <laughs> oh, no. He's, he's like LeBron wow, James that's a, that's a statement. <laughs> 
fair enough, fair enough. Well, hey, look, you know, uh, massive congratulations to you guys. Um, if you can run us through between map one and map two, how were you feeling? Like, obviously, map one was heavily contested on both ways, and it wasn't until like uh, round ten, I believe, that you started to really like fly away with the early lead and advantage, especially with Chopper Steve um, providing so much backup and you know synergy with the rest of your team, making it work. Like, what was the uh, thoughts going through to your team's comps and your head? Well, Chopper Steve and uh, Oppo, they're one character, one tricks. <laughs> leave them. <laughs> Pino is our greatest duelist, we just leave him, let him do his stuff. And then me and um, he, uh, Bingsu are just support players, so we just do our stuff. <laughs> Fair enough. Was there at any moment that you felt like it was really frenetic and you're like, come on, Hino, just do it? That kind of a moment? Uh, not the first game, but the second game, we really needed him to pop off. Yeah, like, yeah, seriously, with how many kills and just absolute denials in the beginning really took us by surprise, where he was able to just jewel in the beginning on map one, taking that mid control, and then map two, being punished for it, but then coming back right in the uh, final games and making the massive clutches for the team. It's actually really, really good to see, especially in grand finals. Yeah, throughout the whole tournament, we have had our coach, shout out Sniffer J, he's our coach throughout the whole thing. He helped us um, practice our games and scrims and everything. Oh, I always need a nice coach to uh, get yourself through a lot of those ones. Also, yeah. I'd just like to ask about Oppo. So, of course, not the, the biggest kill player, as you're saying yourself, and him he's usually good. playing those support roles, but he just the uh, stuff that he gets and the information he's getting to you guys, how much of a pivotal role does he play usually with that kind of stuff? Well, he's new to our FPS games. He's uh, a great Overwatch player, but we brought him into the tournament because we thought he would be a great addition to the team. That's why we um he gets he doesn't know how to call out sometimes, but when he does, we pop off. Well, that's that's hey, fair. That sounds hey. exactly like me, to be honest. I forget how to call it. Hey, look, you know that's if you can make it work transitioning from one game to the next, that's great. Obviously, Overwatch has a lot of the same kind of a vibe with skills and utilities, and uh, Oppo transitioning with that is good. It, there were some moments where Oppo even clutched up for the rest of the team, especially yeah. on that cat and you know getting two massive kills, and then uh, also clutching up on Icebox as well. So uh, it's a very very decent thing. But you know, final statement: if Hina was next to you right now. Will he be I'll the one him. that? Oh, I'll kiss him right now. I was actually about to ask if you would do that. And I was, <laughs> I was thinking the answer would probably be yes. Uh, I was gonna say, you know, were you gonna lift him up and take him to packs with you if we, were, you know, you were not part of the lockdown right now? I'll do, I'll do things I can't say on camera right now. I'll do nasty things <laughs> too. <laughs> oh god. Fair enough, fair yeah. enough. Um, hey, Has, do you have any closing statement for our man, Kev, the goo? Yep, I'm just going to say shout out Jim Star, shout out Gazer Gazer, and shout out um, Jay Toza. Thank you, thank you for the tournament. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Has, how about you? Yeah, I mean, congratulations, man, and to all of your team in St. John's. You guys had a fantastic run and looked very solid in the grand finals today, 13-10, 13-10, finishing off. So go enjoy uh, your win sure that you'll be drinking you know all the some reasonable stuff you know nothing illegal but you know enjoying yourself there might there might be a few bubblies popped open if you weren't you were all together there but you never know <laughs> Okay, well, that will conclude the interview for a player coming from uh, Cool the Goo, who is obviously yep. the representative for St. John's Park. Massive congratulations to them for taking out the Meta HSC Valorant High School Competition Season 1 of 2021. They are the absolute champions. With that, they are going to also close it up and being the absolute representative. Question, are you going to join for the next season? Uh, we're year 12, so we're graduating this year. We don't oh, know. Are you gonna oh, nah. are you gonna leave a legacy behind? Yeah, we got uh we got the boys ready. <laughs> oh, so there's already ones in the wings, it's been planned for. <laughs> oh, I mean if you're any other New South Wales team hearing this then you've got to be worried because they've already they've got they've got the succession plan, it's all ready to go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, then, guys, uh, we are going to close up. Thank you all very much for tuning in once again. Give a massive shout out to everyone on Twitch and, you know, for coming and participating in today's uh, player interview and also to the rest of the League of Legends and Metal Valorant uh, Twitch stream. Um, we give another massive shout out to all of our sponsors, which is going to be Torrance University Australia, Optus and MSI. Make sure to go and check out everything that they represent with the game design, game programming, 3D design, animation and graphic and communication design courses and as well as packs for coming in and giving
giving Meta HSC this massive and wonderful opportunity for you to win and go for you know for free. Basically, this is the best thing that you do want to be getting at all times. So, guys, that's gonna be it for myself and Has. We hope you stay safe. Hope to see you soon, and may you all have a lovely, lovely weekend. This is gonna be us signing off. Have a good one.